Hey everyone. I hope you're having a great day. Today in this tutorial we will be learning about how to create smooth subscribe pop-up animation in After Effects. Let's take a look at what we are going to create. That looks super good. Before we begin make sure to hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new composition. I will name this as reveal animation. Width is 1920 and the height is 1080. 25 frames. Change the duration to 4 seconds. Click OK. Take your pencil over here. And make a line like this. We don't need any fill, since we are going to use stroke. Hold Alt and press on the fill, to close it. Now in the stroke, use whatever color you want, I will be using orange. Increase the stroke size to 30. In the stroke effect, change the line cap from bud cap, to round cap. It will make our shape edges round. Now click on the add icon here, and select the trim path. Go to trim paths, and take your time indicator to 10th frame. Keyframe the end like this, make sure that our end is at 100%. Now take the time indicator to 1 second, change the end to 1 like this. Highlight the two keyframes and right click on it, go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease. Go to the graph editor, by clicking this graph icon. Press the menu and select the edit speed graph. Now select this anchor point and by holding shift drag it all the way to the left like this. I will explain what's the meaning behind this graph. Since we dragged the right handle to the left, our animation will start fast, and will end slowly. Now go to the timeline. If I play it, you can clearly see, that our animation starts fast and ends slowly. You can increase its time, by dragging the right keyframe to the left like this. Now it looks medium fast, the closer the keyframe the faster the animation will get. That looks good. Hide the effects and press U on your keyboard. It will bring us the keyframes of this layer. Take the text tool like this, and start typing the name you want. I will type and subscribe me, I will use a font named Nexabold. Change the anchor point to the left corner like this. This time we will type in our channel name Gentle PSD. We now have two text layers, change the anchor point to the left corner like this, and align it like this. Select the both layer and press P on your keyboard, it will bring us the position. Take the time indicator to the 18th frame like this. Drag the text to the left side using the position like this. Align it to the center. Now keyframe the position of both text layer. Take the time indicator to 15 frame and drag the text to right side like this.
Now highlight all the four keyframes and right click on it. Go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease. Again go to the graph editor and we will do the same method that we did to our shape layer. Drag the right anchor to the left by holding shift like this. Go to the timeline and play it to see if it looks good. Our animation looks good, but as you see it looks so clean and not making much of an impact. To make it look more dynamic, we need our second text, gentle PSD to arrive a little late after our first text subscribe me. For that select the gentle PSD layer and drag the layer to the right like this. If I play it. As you see our second text came a little later after our first text, making it looks more dynamic. Now select both the text layer, right click on it, and select pre-compose. I will name it as text, click OK. Now we grouped our text layers. Now take the rectangle tool, and make a shape like this. We will use fill, and use any color you want, it doesn't matter. This time we don't need any stroke, hold alt and press the stroke to close it. Place the anchor point in the center. Rotate the shape using rotate tool, like this. Increase its size and place it like this. That looks good. I will name this shape layer as matte. Now place the shape layer above all the layer like this. Select the text layer and press this toggle icon. It will display us the matte option. Change the text matte to alpha matte. What it does is that our text will now only be visible on our shape matte layer. Let's play it. That looks really good. Now adjust the text using position and align it to the center. That's perfect. Now select all the layers right click on it, and select pre-compose. I will name it as reveal. Make sure your time indicator is at the end of the animation. Press alt and close bracket, to trim the layer like this. Press ctrl D to duplicate the layer, and drag the layer to the right and place it like this. Right click on the layer then go to the time and select time reverse layer. Now let's play it and see the magic. That looks good, but as you see it's too fast. To make it more steady, we will drag the top layer to the right and drag the below layer like this. It will create that steady animation. That looks great. We finally finished creating the smooth reveal animation effect. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it, as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this, and hit the like button, if you like this tutorial. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.